what's going on guys I'm gonna show you guys something really cool my neighbor my friend Ryan he's been growing tomato plants and found this guy eating his tomato plant this is known as the t tobacco hornworm now there's two different species of these guys and as you can see he's got a little red horn on the back end of him that's his back end that's the front uh, this one's the tobacco hornworm and I know that because the horn is red and because I live in the south here I live in Arkansas and this species likes really humid areas the tomato hornworm they live primarily in northern areas and their horn let's see if we can get a little bit closer on that horn right there. that's as close as I can get but that horn on the tomato hornworm is like a black or bluish color and these guys are fairly aggressive look at him he's going crazy as long as I don't disturb him too much look they got really good senses too <laughs> Yeah, stretch. I don't want to aggravate them because they do have fairly big pinchers. Uh, but my buddy said when he first found it on his tomato plant, there was a fly buzzing around him. And as a defense mechanism, these guys make a loud clicking noise and they bite. Now, I don't want to poke them and, and, all and get them to make that clicking noise and go into defense mode I'd like to show that to you but I, again I don't want to poke at them and get them aggravated I don't want it biting me and look there is a fly or something you see that fly buzzing him come here buddy you gotta go in a different area don't bite me okay hold on guys bear with me but yeah check him out now this is the larva stage and as you can see it's probably about three and a half inches long uh, in the adult malt stage, they get fairly big, and this one, the tobacco hawk moth, uh, well, that's what it's called when it's in the malt stage, tobacco hawk moth or Carolina sphinx moth. And another common name in the larva stage, other than tobacco horn worm, is goliath worm. But yeah, check him out. Really cool looking. Really bright green. <laughs> I hope my camera is staying in focus. I'm doing my best here, guys. This, this guy's pretty rambunctious here, bud. Over here. There we go. Stay right there, man. Quit moving around. Yeah, you can see that black part when he puts his head towards the camera. Look at the pinchers on that guy. Let's see if we can... Hold on a minute. Here, come here, bud. He just won't. No, now he's gonna hold still. He's mind the jerky movement, guys. I'm. It's kind of difficult to do, but I really wanted to show this to you. It's really interesting. Look at them. You can see the black mandibles on him. He's got pretty big pinchers. But I guess the ones in the north. The tomato hornworm, uh, I guess they like tobacco plants too. And I was reading online something about they can absorb or have some kind of compound in them from the tobacco. And it was really interesting. I guess I can put a link to the Wikipedia page in the description below if you guys are interested in reading all that. It's really cool. If you're into this sort of thing. I'm not really a bug person, but I just thought this guy was really... Oop, come here, buddy. I don't want to hurt him. He's pretty fragile. There we go. Well, there you go. You get a really good look. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to end this. He's getting really wormy. <laughs> and I think he wants to get off my finger. He's looking for something else to get on. I'm going to find uh, a plant 
and put them on that. Maybe I'll... I don't want to put them back on my buddy's tomato plants because he was eating it. But I'm going to try to find something to put them on. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing good and I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little different for a change. To the tobacco hornworm or the Carolina Sphinx moth. Pretty cool. See you guys for now.